I don't know what it was. He's walking upright like a man. Sightings in and around Vermont. Bigfoot sightings across New England have been reported. Red glowing eyes, about seven feet tall. Red eyes, big old fangs, claws coming out through. Three inches long, you know, just sharp as they could be. There has been another UFO sighting flying over the Royal Botanic Gardens. There are 500 UFO sightings in the world every month. The truth is out there. Oh, uh, do you have Hulu? Yes, because I have Spotify Premium. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't realize those two are a bundle. I can cancel my Hulu and just have Hulu. Do you have commercials? I do. Oh, I don't. I do. Okay, so I'm still going to Oh, uh, yeah. Well, uh, like, so here's the thing about that. Um, Lissa will literally be like, I, I like this show, but it's on Hulu, so I don't want to watch it anymore because of the commercials. Yeah, that's why I pay for Hulu. I only pay for, like, five channels or whatever, and, and, and that's it. Yeah, but I on think. Hulu, watch, okay. we, we've... Um, Erica has been watching MasterChef, which, that's an interesting show, but... But because Hulu's Hulu, it the related show, which is my new favorite show ever, is called Worst Cooks in America. Amazing. And they get the worst cooks in, and then in the end they end up like cooking for like Michelin and they 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 learn a lot and they're now amazing cooks or whatever. But it's really just mm. the first few episodes. Like how watching American Idol, you, you don't care about the end. You just want to see the first few episodes. Oh yeah, no, so, no one actually cares about the end. It'll be thirty people in a warehouse, and they they are just like they've got the full pantry. Get your ingredients, cook whatever you want, and they just say, "Cook us your favorite dish." And it's a lot of full adults who um, but they 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 someone runs up to a shelf and goes, "Is this an onion or a potato?" to to the person next to them. There's people cut using knives, but in the wrong orientation. Like they're not holding the blade, but they're trying to cut with the the not the sharp part. It's amazing. There's people that make. Um, there was one who he was a magician, and he goes, "I like to make food that's also a magic trick." So this is a cake that tastes like spaghetti. <laughs> what? It's the most amazing show. Um, one so uh, person. They oh also before the competition starts. One, there's tryouts. One guy made himself okay. throw up eating his own food at a tryout. Wait, and wait. He, so, like... He's like, this just didn't travel well. And they were like, no, it's... Just no. It's poison. You've, it you've made poison. poison. And so you get to I see mean, the tryouts. And then you get to see the people who made it through that part, which throw, make himself throw up guy, of course, made it through. Okay, um, okay. So it's it's like, you literally have to be the worst. Like, yeah. it's not... It's not like best of the worst. It's... Worst of the worst. Nobody, everyone was nominated by someone else. Oh my god! So there are people who are like <laughs> professional caregivers who show up, and it's like the person they take care of is there, and he's and they're like, yeah, this is terrible. So like, the, or family members. Um, before the big thirty person where they do the first round of cuts starts, it's like Gordon Ramsay. Uh-huh. And this other team of three professional cooks goes, who has ever poisoned a family member? And everyone's <laughs> hand goes up. Who's ever started a fire? Everyone's hand goes up. And they're like, what? and one, one old lady goes, I made a pot roast and the dog ate it, but then the dog died. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> it is such a good show. So I have started a fire while cooking. I but, have two. Oh, did I tell you about so, the one time? Oh, let's let's share our fire stories. So I was in Rochester at the time. This is okay. when I was uh getting my master's, and I was making um, I was making eggs. You right? caught eggs on fire. Okay. So really, really quite an easy process making yes. eggs. Um, except I did a dumb thing. And I put too much oil in the pan. Uh oh, yep. Because I was cooking eggs with oil, and not butter. Which I've since switched over to butter because I I screwed up eggs enough with oil. I think I was like experimenting. Okay. And um, so pan catches on fire. I put the lid on it. All that shit. I panic. Like I'm pretty sure I I like actually cried because it was like, oh. what the fuck did I just do to myself? Yeah. Um, so 
fire alarm goes off, and then the entire apartment building comes down and is like, hey, is everything okay here? And I'm like, oh, yep. That had it's... to be worse. You just had other people involved. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the worst part of it. I still have the pan, and it's charred. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, so so here's mine. Um, a while ago, when I if I wanted to be lazy and cook, I'd be like, I'm, mm-hmm. I know I'll be hungry in a while, so what I'll do is I'll put a bunch of stuff in a pan that I can just, I know I can just leave it on low and leave it alone for like 40 minutes to an hour. Not Like, I'll check on it, but I, I know it's not an issue. Like, oh, you, you and me are so different when it comes to cooking. I'm a babier because I get so anxious about... The fire event made me a little yeah. bit anxious when it comes to food. So, so what happened was I was watching the TV show Grimm in the living room, mm-hmm. and the fire alarm starts going off. Okay. I'm never connected that it's a real-life fire alarm. I thought it was in the TV show because there were things going on. So the fire alarm was just oh, going off for God. a while. And it wasn't until the black smoke started rolling into the living room that I realized what happened. Now here's how here's how, here's what happened. I melted the nonstick coating off of a nonstick pan. Like hey, the back um, wall in the kitchen was all black with soot. The house filled with smoke. I had to like open all the windows and you could see the smoke coming out of the windows from and, outside. And this is this is from the home you currently live in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had to throw out that pan. Oh yeah, once you burn the nonstick coating off of a nonstick pan, it's done. Yeah. So I think I, fr- I didn't put it on the right heat setting. I, I, it just wasn't on low. It was on different. You know, well, I mean, you clearly it put go. it on the wrong heat setting. Yeah. There, there's no there's no question that you put it on the wrong heat setting. Yeah. And then just I mean, that just, the alarm. <laughs> that just goes to show you, like, you know, a house fire. You could just take your time with one. Yeah. <laughs> well, there was no, like, it was just black, like, nothing outside of the pan caught on fire fair but still also um i think if you like a fire starts in a pan like can't like the the soot catch fire too and like spread it i don't know like it like like a flash like a heat burner in question and covered it in salt (laughs) fair (laughs) yeah i i uh i got very panicked when I did oh. it, I, I luckily had a lid, so I just put it on top of the. Oh, none of my items have lids. Yeah, everything I have has a lid. They all had lids at one point. We actually went and sorted all the Tupperware and threw out anything without a lid. So you threw out a lot there's of only Tupperware. Two, there's only two. What the hell? There's only two. I have, I have those nice, like, Pyrex glass bowls. The for Pyrex stuff. we kept. The Pyrex we kept because they're they're good for it's Pyrex. You can't throw out Pyrex. You can cook with no. it. No, like that. You put stuff. Really? In... Yeah. I didn't know. You... Well, I guess that makes sense considering you 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 can use a Bunsen burner and you... that's usually Pyrex. So yeah. So with Pyrex, um, you can put stuff in it and then put it in the oven. So if you want to like make like a fish or whatever, like a baked fish. Season it. Oh wow! Grease up your your Pyrex. Put it in there. Pop it in the oven. And that way, you're not using like a nice baking sheet or whatever. You're using a thing huh. that's just the right size for the item you're trying to cook. I didn't actually know that. Yeah. Hmm. Well, <laughs> I'm probably not going to do that though because oh, okay. I don't trust myself. I I literally like Brandon. I, I cannot understate how much i don't trust myself when it comes to cooking there's i mean it's like a really lazy thing you can do that's great in the fall time is bread pudding where you just get stale muffins put them in the in a thing add like eggs and milk and and see like sage or whatever that that gives you like the fall time flavors put it in a pyrex thing that's just the right size for the amount of stuff you have pop it in the oven for a while and then you got yourself bread pudding my um lissa's lissa's dad loves Yorkshire pudding, which is, I think, bread pudding. A form of bread pudding. It's English, so it's probably like bread pudding plus meat. Yeah. So I went to Christmas one year, and he, he just kept saying, like, you got to try the, 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 the Yorkshire pudding or whatever. And he was, like, so excited about it. Like, it, it was... <laughs> It was, I'm not going to lie, kind of adorable Oh, how excited he was over <laughs> over this food. 
it's I, I I'm looking it up. Yorkshire pudding looks like someone made muffins wrong. That's that's a pretty good description of it. Because it looks like a really crispy outside and the inside was never cooked, so it's like a thing that like deflated in on itself. Yeah, pretty much. It's it's the most It's probably English. Good. It's fine. Um it's like the most English thing I've ever had though. Yeah. Like it's funny to me that Gordon Ramsay is a very famous chef because yeah. England is not known for its cuisine. No. No, the England is like where you go if you need to reset your palate. <laughs> like, it, I I don't know if I don't know that that's going a little far, Brandon. Like if you just want to have stuff that's like seasoning hasn't even been walked past it, just go there. Oh, oh yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It hasn't even been in the same. It hasn't even been in the same uh, kitchen, same yeah. home, same under the same roof. Yeah, yeah, like two separate buildings, seasoning and food. And the other building, like, that you just never go there. Oh, no, no, you don't, the seasoning house is not, is not for, for you. No, no, actually those, the, it's a fun little, like, statistic, but in England, the, the the seasoning buildings are actually the ones that are most used for um, uh, arson to claim insurance uh, money. Yeah? Yeah, it's actually <laughs> a real problem. <sighs> Brandon, the way yeah. you're the way you the your sarcasm is such that I can I can tell that you're being sarcastic, but I have to think for a second. Oh, that's my that's I that's my favorite thing is just saying mm. things and people believing me and then people who know me not really believing me and just looking at the other person. I have a slight problem with that too, and I picked it up from I, I probably picked it up from you and I got it from my dad as well, where I'm just flatly sarcastic and I get in so much trouble with Lissa sometimes. Oh, that's the best. <laughs> I like cause like I say stupid stuff and it's like it's clearly sarcasm from my point of view. Oh yeah. But then I'm like, oh wait. Yeah. You... Shit. This this might be misinterpreted yeah. as not sarcasm. I uh do you do this thing? Uh so I actually did this yesterday. Well, I will pretend to not know or understand something very like common just to have people try to explain very common things to me, even though I already know what they're talking about. Um I don't do that. For I the example, uh yesterday the company had um like a just for fun um everybody in the company gets free cake day and okay that's a lie by the way the the cake is a lie and one of the the project managers uh someone said so what what's the deal with the cake and then this project manager goes oh i think they're defrosting right now so then i having overheard that just go why why would they take the frosting back off of the cake brandon you're a criminal. In order to try to have this person explain to me what defrosting means. Brandon, you're a criminal. <laughs> An actual criminal. <laughs> it's the most fun thing to you, do you, ever. You are you have committed <laughs> crimes against people. Yeah. Oh, Full yeah. stop. There's no there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You have yeah. committed crime. Oh yeah. Um uh oh erica's favorite thing i also just ignore obvious like pretend i understand obvious things like um so her her new thing is um yeah fa uh, fake eyelashes like she's be become very good at applying them she's mm -hmm. um did them for other like she she, she she she's proud of how well she is and she has like this variety of different eyelashes and mm -hmm. I, I compliment them say good job or whatever so the other day she's watching master chef on the couch and i sit down okay. and um she makes eye contact and starts to flutter, like, to show off the eyelashes. Like, oh, this is a different one this time. They're mink or whatever. Uh -huh. show, showing me these eyelashes. And I just go, oh, like, like offer eye drops. Um, is, is is there dust? Is it too dusty? Is there dust in the air? That kind of hey, thing. Hey, Brandon. Brandon. Yeah. Do you want to sleep outside or in the hot room of your house? Because that. Oh, wait. You, you the, the bed's out of the hot room now. Yeah, the bed's out of the hot room, and there's an air conditioner in the hot room now because I just 
for some reason never made the connection that there's an extra air conditioner and there's a hot room. Go figure. <laughs> Why do I have this spare air conditioning in this house? And why can it never go in this one room in the summer? <laughs> God. Yeah. That room is hot though. That room was hot though. Oh, yeah. Every time every time you like invited me up there to see it cuz you've made changes or something like that, yeah. it was always so fucking hot. Yeah. Cat's favorite room too. Oh yeah, no. The cats love the hottest room in this house too. Yeah. It's like it's it'll be just unbearable up there. And I'll be nice and air conditioned downstairs with all the air conditioners that I now actually use. And um you're like, where's the cat? Like, oh, they're just in the hottest room. Well, because they're 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 from hell. Yeah. That's cats true. are from hell, and that's their way of feeling at home. There's got to be, we did a, 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 like a Naughty Boy cat episode already, didn't we? A Naughty Boy? Yeah, just like a cryptid cat. Uh, I think so. I think so. There's got to be, I think we did. There's got to be, a, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, alien, um, alien big, big cats. cats. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yep. We've definitely done, we've definitely done cat cryptids, and uh, every time that a cat cryptid happens, Brandon, you know that. Yeah. Oh, cat fairies. You know what happens. Cat, cat fairies. You even did that. Yeah, the, yeah, we did that too. Yeah, I think okay. you did. Well, if you, if you did Kate Sith, I think I did Kate Sith because it was it was in the fairy grab bag. It was in the fairy grab bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So if anyone's wondering why we went from talking about um just being bad humans and 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 being bad at cooking, um, well, you being a bad human. True. True. Uh, that's because you're listening to Cryptopedia. It's, uh, uh, an exploration of the myths and legends that haunt the human mind. Each week, we take you on a journey exploring the mysteries of the world, tackling the tales of monsters, folklore, the paranormal, like we did last week, uh, and the thing that definitely lives under your bed. I'm Brandon. I'm John, and I totally forgot that I did a ghost story last week. Yeah, 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 you did a, you did a spooky. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, Brandon, uh, cause I've been... Because I've been switching careers, yes, over the past week, I had a low, low tier, uh, a low tier panic attack that I had forgotten to do this week's episode because I had completely forgotten about uh, last <laughs> last time. <laughs> like I had completely forgotten the entire story. Brandon, I read a full book for that. Oh. <laughs> And I have yeah. forgotten it. I have full I have folklore books in the hot room. Um that I <laughs> I have so many books that I've just picked up and have like osmosis their way into my life since we started this podcast. Oh yeah. Like <laughs> there there's books on there's real tangible physical tangible books and I, I, I'm starting to like Kindle more because it's easier to search. If you read something or you can go well, back and find it faster. Honest, honestly, my favorite thing about Kindle and oh, we're on. I I didn't tell you this, but we're on uh the the Amazon podcast service now. Oh no, nice. which means we can't we can't talk bad about Amazon anymore. Oh, uh, literally, it was in the terms and services. <laughs> we do it so much. Wait, what? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. There's there was a whole there was a whole fiasco. Yeah. Um, but uh, anywho, I I use Kindle because it lets me do like markations and notes and all that stuff nice which really makes my life a lot easier when i'm i'm collating these episodes oh yes yeah. yeah my favorite part about um amazon really is that they uh really how fast they uh they deliver necessary items to your house mm -hmm. um yeah. also how good they are at uh workers rights oh yes they have never um Kept ambulances outside of warehouses because it's cheaper than running air conditioning. Um, yeah, no, that's never happened. That has never happened. Never happened. Nope. Don't don't look up their response to the to COVID nineteen. Don't just don't don't because it's it's perfect. I'm telling you right now, it's it, there's nothing wrong with it. There's um <laughs> the owner. I will say magnificently the reflectivity of his head. Hmm. It's true. Hot, he untouched. also is a literal dragon, so that helps. <laughs> you know, he's he's probably like the actual human equivalent of like old timey guard the gold dragons. 
Well, he's he's like the human equivalent. He he would be a chromatic dragon. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah, but he would be one of the like, he'd be a chaotic evil dragon. So he's either so he's either oh, yeah. a, a cha- chromatic dragon or a red dragon. Yeah, that's why his wife left him. Anyway, uh, this week's creature is canine in appearance. It roams France. It was first seen in seventeen sixty four and is no longer seen today. Do you have any guesses on what it could be? Uh, the Beast of Givadon. Okay, that's oddly specific. Is that because I shared a tweet? Is that because of the I, tweet? I, Brandon, I knew what you were going to do the second you shared the Silver Bullet tweet. Uh, fine, yes. Um, Actually, I'm also, happy that you guessed it, because it's been a long time. Because it used to have a streak. I did, I did. But then you did a lot of like really obscure stuff on purpose to make it so I couldn't figure it out. Yeah. But this one, this one I probably would have gotten anyways because True. um I actually was thinking it was either the Beast of Gavadon or Loop Garou. Um and I literally just had to look up what how to pronounce Gavadon before I I actually said it because oh. I am terrible at French the, pronunciation. The, the G is a J and the N doesn't exist. Jevadon? Uh, Jevadon? Jevadon, yeah. Jevadon. Yeah. Jevuda. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right, French people. The, uh, so, yeah, French letters. Who cares? Um, this, uh, loop guru, by the way, uh, it also, the P, you know how we used to say la loop? The P, uh, uh no, it's Lou guru. I learned that researching this, too. Um, I, you know what? Here's the thing. I will never not say la loop. No, I, I will also never not say la loop. Uh, Lou Lou? Guru is um, a, a generic French werewolf. Lou meaning wolf. And Groot is just like evil, like an evil or entity that has intends bad things. So there could actually be like a whole bunch of different gurus just tacked onto different animals. And they will have like different like were humans or whatever. Mm. Um, which I did which... talk about, which is why I mentioned it now, because that's something I learned while uh, researching uh, this thing. But yes, today we're talking about the Beast of Javudon, uh, which is located in the southern part of France and is home to uh, a few different nasty boys. Uh, which? But... Yeah. I-, I don't mean to interrupt you, but which card was Le Loop? Because I know it was a wolf. It was a, it was a green. It was a green wolf card. In a uh, red green uh, wolf deck, I believe. I had a red green wolf deck and I loved yes. it. Yes, I was such a big wolf boy. My my, yeah. my my wolf deck was so much fun. For those of you who don't know, this is Magic the Gathering. Yeah, talk. we're talking about Magic the Gathering. There is a uh, it's a collectible card game, and I'm not going to explain don't... more because I assume if you listen to us, still some like th- this we're very niche and and this is one of the things that you enjoy. Yeah, we've talked about it a lot. We've talked yes. about we've talked about Magic. On more than a couple occasions. Yeah. Somebody had a wolf deck. Um, Me. And, and uh, there was a French version of a card to get a full set, I believe. Yes. Like well, no, I actually... French. Or did you have a full well, set in French? I had one French card because Nick gave it to me. Yeah. Um, I also remember with that wolf deck, I got, like, upset with somebody. I got upset with someone who I consider a good friend. Mm-hmm. Um, Wait, are you talking about was- me? No, I'm okay. talking about I'm talking about Falco. Ah, I got upset with Falco because I thought he accidentally took one of my cards because it was so oh. hot in the card shop that yeah. my sleeves stuck together. Yeah, I, I I feel bad that I got angry, but I blame the heat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that. Man, that 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 was it was like a coffin, like a burning coffin. It was very hot. Yeah. Anywho, and, and, no one, need, no one, needs, no one hot, needs to hear about good game store. When, when it got hot, the rule was if you're going to smoke a cigarette, you had to do it farther away from the door because they have to keep the door open to let it cool down. Yes. Yeah. Um, so this nasty boy was seen in an area uh, about 56 by 50 miles, also known as uh, 2,800 square miles. Um, yep. And it was described in several ways um, as a wolf or the dog or a wolf-dog hybrid. I don't discriminate because I don't care. Um, Whoa. Dwight. Oh, hi. Hey, we're fucking over here. Hey, uh, okay, so, Brandon, I want to just stop you for a second. Whoa. Saying I don't discriminate because I don't care. I'm a French wolf. Hey. I I feel like that's 
still discrimination. Eh, probably. Like, I, I don't know. Because if you don't care... I, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't I'm know. not going to go into this. I, I'm not an expert on discrimination. The uh, um, It had large, glowing red eyes. A, a, a key uh, well, thing a to any, any good um, uh, cryptid. And, well, the uh, black, black, black dog of Bungay yeah. had glowing red eyes. True. True, true. Yeah. Um, oh, and it was also described as bipedal. Um, so it was a furry. It was all... Oh, oh, wow. For the rest of this, I'm just going to imagine it in my head just a furry in, in France. Just murdering gonna, okay. people. So f- before we go on, I don't like hate the furries. furries. from the, the Renaissance Fair is what I'm going to picture. I don't hate furries. Just let me let me say yeah. that outright. Uh, they're a wonderful community. Um, they also are very good about shutting down Nazism in their community and just being like, fuck off fascists, which good job, guys. But. And you can you have to agree with me imagining somebody in a fursuit walking around in France in 1764 it's the setting like it's the 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 the, 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 the like how oh yes that would be hilarious and it's not me knocking that person it's literally that would be the funniest thing in the world oh yes and i can actually imagine this very well because what was it was i with you there's a group of yes, three furry yes. wolves in the yes. Renaissance Fair, so I can which actually I want to point out the setting better is in the middle of summer. Yeah, in the middle of summer, like like it's it was like probably August or September, which is like the worst part of summer. Oh yeah, um, and their costumes were actually super on point. Oh no, they were very good. <laughs> like. I-, I give them serious credit because uh, I couldn't do that. They looked expensive. Yes. And also, they really I wouldn't did. do that just because of the heat involved. Uh, uh, uh. Unless they might have a cool... I can, Maybe they've got, like, a cool vest like NASCAR drivers have. I, I would pumps, hope. Like, so, oh, maybe. Um, I, feel like, I feel like that's... I'm not a member of the furry community, but I feel like that's definitely a thing. Like, some way to cool down. It has to yeah, be. Yeah, it not, has to be. If not, uh, try, somebody, if you're a furry and you listen, try it out. I mean, it's probably going to be a, a game changer. Brandon, we've got a... We've got a we've got, Capitalism. We have to capitalize. Like cooling vest intended specifically for for oh, furries. Ah, I like this. Yeah, cooling vest specifically for furries. Yeah. Um, we'd have to work yif somehow into the into the title of it. Yif. Um. Um. I. I. Brandon. This is something I'm, in my head, that in, when, every time I shower now, I'm going to be trying to think of, like, slogans and, and ways to, like, pitch this and incorporate the word yif. If I do that right I, now, I, I it's going to be a lot of me not talking and just staring into space trying to think. I, you are aware of what yiffing is, right? I am very aware. Okay, okay, okay. Because for a sec, I, I was hoping that you would react a little differently, but... um. Yeah, well, I'm not going to go into what yiffing is on this podcast. We're an explicit yeah. podcast, Just, but you, I'm not going to talk about sex about where, like, if you wear this vest, vest for a long time, you won't have to worry about not being stiff when you yiff or something like that. Um, stiff and yiff definitely have to be in the like same sense. Something sentence. somewhere in, like, so, like I'm still, like, it's not complete. The, the clay is still being formed. Um but no, the, stiff and yiff. That's definitely a part of the slogan. Yeah, it's definitely a part of the slogan. Yeah, something about like, would it be a ball cooler? A oh, ball cooler. Listen, that sounds like that'd just be fine at extremerestraints.com. I, I bet you that would be on. Once again, we are not sponsored. If anyone works at Extreme Restraints and they want to sponsor us, I think that's the one sponsorship I'll allow. Sponsor us podcast. or just send us things. Do you really want the humbler deluxe? I mean, it's a good, like, so, you know, I've got the curio cabinet that yeah. has, like, different things. Like, I would accept a Humbler Deluxe just to put it in that cabinet and have people ask about it. Would you hide it when younger individuals come over? Oh, like, like, if, uh, yeah, if I'm babysitting. Uh, yeah, I probably have to do that. <laughs> 
<laughs> or I just tell them something that it's not. Yeah, but then that's gonna that's gonna set up a, a weird situation where like they're at like a show and tell or a tell us something about your weekend, <laughs> and they describe a humbler to their teacher. Oh uh, yeah, true, true. And then Brandon, could be Brandon, problematic. Brandon, you're the person. You're a, you're an adult man who introduced a sexual term to a child. Yeah, that's not a good thing. True. Um, <laughs> at least in America, that's a really bad, bad thing. Yeah. Like, listen, sometimes when two people like each other a whole lot, they do some really, really uncomfortable things with objects. Well, they've been together for a while, and to avoid, you know, cheating on each other, they spice things up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> like, get cages for your balls. Um, mm -hmm. the most common form of killing... Uh, by this creature was uh, by ripping out the victim's throat, uh, and literally decapitating the, the victims, uh, opening the chest cavity and eating um, their internal organs, specifically a liver, kidney, that kind of thing. Um, and interestingly enough, it was rare for any damage to happen below the waist. So that's how you know it's not furry. That's, I mean, that's, you, you can't, you can't yiff if the undercarriage has been destroyed. Nope. Also, once again, I actually like furries a lot. I think they're a great community. Oh yeah, no, th this is this isn't a uh, 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 oh. this is more me. This, this is more me uh, joking about the stereotypes of furries yeah. than it is. It's, yeah, it's making fun of the stereotypes. This is this isn't a being mean. This is a uh, uh, a ball busting. Uh, the same kind of like the same way I design uh, when we play uh, the, uh, Magic: The Gathering deck specifically against you and only you yes no oh <laughs> yes yeah you have it doesn't uh, mean on... i dislike you <laughs> no 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 you explicitly design decks that play against my particular play style yes not not anyone else's play style it's li they're literally handcrafted to counter my play style yes <laughs> because you're a bad friend yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the beast itself, or rather beasts, as we'll learn later, were active between 1764 and 1767 um, and has reported to killed over 100 people. I think it was closer to like, I think over even 200, uh, many of which were partially eaten. Um, I believe the 100 was the initial sighting, and then there were like some later on ones that, that, that over the longer period of time were, were uh, attributed like to this. I feel like a hundred's a really high number for a single beast. So, even it, okay. So, like, there has to be at least multiple, as you said here, right? It has to be just because a hundred is like a real like. If we're talking serial killers, that's a yeah. really high number. So, so the hundred is really at the in the winter of seventeen sixty four, and then the larger number where it's like over two hundred. That's um between the winter of seven, really early to, to mid 1765 to end of 1767 okay. just other killings that were like still like 100 in a little winter brutal rashes yeah that's a lot of people dead it, it, like especially considering we're talking about a, a relatively small area cuz i'm looking at the map and france is not huge no and this area is not huge cuz yeah. like it's it's what'd you say twenty by twenty fifty fifty by fifty six miles. Yeah, that's a really small density. It is for a hundred people to die in. Yes, especially in seventeen uh, in the seventeen hundreds, where population densities weren't necessarily as crazy as they are today. True, very true. And this isn't like uh, as far as I know, uh, Javadin is not a very super populated part of france but then again i know nothing about france so i'm not gonna it, it is not very populated and we'll get into why i think in a couple pages um okay. the exact numbers depend on your source uh but among the most reliable sources i found reported uh about 210 attacks 49 of which uh were just wounds 113 deaths and 98 were uh partially consumed and this is actually really well documented um the most reliable sources were of monks uh, that were just, they just 
archive and, and, and do things. There were well, newspapers at the time, so they, they this was actually pretty well documented. So if I've learned anything from Alita Battle Monk, uh, Battle, Battle Nun, uh, Warrior Nun, whatever, the thing on Netflix right now. Oh, uh, I didn't watch it yet. I've only watched like two episodes of it. Uh, the main reason I'm watching it is because there was like a it was it's based off of like a manga inspired comic. Oh, okay. And it's kind of terrible in its own right. Um, if I've learned anything from that, monks are the first people to see the body after everything happens. Is that true or is that a, a anime thing? I, I think it's just a thing. Like, well, also what should I call it? Um, France was. France is what I would call super Catholic at the time. Yeah. So monks would probably be the people who are handling the bodies. True. Um, the beast itself was reported to have been killed several times before the attacks actually stopped. Uh, this... Which which to me sounds like it's not one beast yeah, getting killed. It's like a lot of stuff points to more than one animal. <laughs> this, this points to a lot of events being attributed to one monster. Yeah. Uh, descriptions of the time vary, and reports may have been greatly exaggerated due to public hysteria. But you the, don't say. The, the beast was generally described as a wolf-like canine, canine uh, with a tall, lean frame capable of taking great strides. Um, it had an, an elongated head similar to that of a greyhound with a flattened snout, pointed ears, and a wide mouth sitting atop a broad chest. The beast tail was also said to have been notably longer than a wolf's with a tuft at the end. And the beast fur was described as tawny or russet in color, um, but its back was streaked with black and a white heart-shaped pattern was noted on its underbelly. Aww, what Aww. a cute little pattern. It's a very what cute, a cute pattern. Little, what a cute killing machine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this, do, it, this sounds like a dog. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds just like ca- canine. Just canine. It sounds canine. like a canine. Yeah, I, like nothing about this description so far is telling me that this is like a supernatural monster other than the red glowing eyes, but you know. Yeah. Um. Let's see. The very first noted attack happened during the summer of 1764. During that time, a young woman by the name of Mary Jeanne Vallette was um, tending some cattle in uh, a forest that I know I can't pronounce, Meriqua, I guess. Meriqua? Um, yeah, Meriqua. Near the town of, I'm going to go hard wrong and say Langagaini, um, located on the eastern side of Javudon. The beast yeah. attacked her, uh, but to her benefit, the cattle uh, she was tending to, like, fought back. Like, it, it oh, got hell yeah. A cow. Like, fuck yeah, cow. I mean... Don't fuck with cows. Don't fuck with cows. Uh, Just because it's not nice. It's not nice. No, don't me don't don't be mean to the bovine. Um yeah. the same day it came back a second time and it claimed its first victim, a 14-year-old girl by the name of uh Jeanne uh Bout, uh near the village of Les Hubax. Brandon, you're doing such a good job of pronouncing things. You're if I'm you're not so confident, American. I'm gonna go hard wrong. That's fair. Like, like at the very at, why at the very least, up a little bit if I know I'm not gonna get it right. Yeah, you might as well just just go go hard. Oh yeah, you might as well go full American. Oh yes, I'm gonna go full American. Um, uh, the attacks continued throughout 1764, and it seemed that the beast preyed upon lone men women, cattle, and children throughout uh, Javudon and its adjacent forests. One th- so, yeah? All of this sounds like a normal attack pattern for a large predator in a region. Stop thinking like that. Like, like everything that I'm reading, everything you're reading to me, sounds like a hungry... So, this is happening during winter, you said? The, right, it's, they're starting in the summer. Starting in the... Okay, so starting in the summer, but like, how was what was the situation in that time period in terms of like, uh, game availability and like, all that kind of stuff? Because like, this is sounding an awful lot like, uh, some pupper had some problems getting food. Oh yeah, I will talk. Or about- multiple puppers had some problems getting food. It's a lot about uh the season and the terrain. Um, okay, <laughs> okay. 
yeah. I, I hate to shit on this this story. This is one of those stories like I wanted to do for a while. Yeah. Um, and I just never looked into it because I I was like, oh, it's like some werewolfy type shit. Is yeah. what I thought. And the more you you read this to me, the more mundane it sounds, and the more frustrated I am by people who call this like a werewolf story. Oh, there's reasons why why uh, why it got uh uh turned into a beast. Uh, okay, okay. Something separating this from random animal attacks is that it seems to target the necks and heads of the victims. Uh, don't think too hard about that because I'll talk about that later. <laughs> you okay. keep jumping ahead in your in your in your in your noodle mind. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's a lot to noodle around on this story. Oh, yeah. Uh, in the later months of that same year, rumors began to spread that rather than one animal being the source of these killings, that it could possibly be a pair. Um, just a pair? Just a pair. They're a little bit slow on the pickup, these guys. Um, this was apparently due uh, to the number of attacks happening near the same time, but geographically far away enough to make it improbable that one creature was the perpetrator of both killings ignore it's the got number an alibi of <laughs> it's got an alibi yeah well well the the beast of Javanan is just literally setting up an alibi that's all it is oh yeah no beforehand uh descriptions of it, they thought it was one creature that was incredibly fast now mm-hmm. they're starting to think maybe it's too fast maybe it's multiple maybe it's sonic the hedgehog but from that one where he's like a werehog and he's like a he's he's got like the long arms. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um the year after in seventeen sixty five on January twelfth, uh Jacques Portofo and seven of his friends reported being attacked by the beast. They reported uh that by staying grouped together they were able to keep the monster away. That makes sense. I mean that seems reasonable. That's, that's how you deal with wolves. Yes. That's how you deal with a wolf that is desperate. You create a... <laughs> Animals are afraid of numbers. Yeah. Predators aren't stupid. They it's won't like attack there's a something. The reason they that they hunt in packs is that they don't... Uh, it's a numbers game. Uh, this came huh. to attention of King Louis the Fifteenth, um, who gave Jacques 300... Uh, whatever... The French word Lever, for money is livers, 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 which is uh, four thousand three hundred sixty-eight dollars and fifty-six cents, or That's pretty good five hundred and forty-five dollars per person. Hey, listen, fine, you didn't get eaten Not by a wolf and you got free money. Uh, yeah, right. Like, yeah. hey, <laughs> you didn't die. You I got, got a, money. The I got a story. I'm not dead. I'm not injured, and yeah. I got a Nintendo Switch right here. Yeah. Like, that's enough money to go to, like, a pub, buy everybody there around and tell crazy stories. Like, they, they, that's just a good day, I think. Uh, see, my, my way my way of thinking is so different from yours, because I went straight to find you and did, like, a switch. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? Because of this fucking dishwasher that broke, and I, have to, I was going to buy a designer belt, and now in my head is like, no, I can't get my belt. Brandon, that is... Perhaps the most first world problem you have ever stated on this podcast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's very true. It really is. Because not only are you getting a luxury item, because at the end of the day, a dishwasher is, in fact, a luxury item. True. Um, it's an appliance that makes life easier but isn't needed. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh,. You're getting a luxury item, and you're like, now I can't get this other luxury item. Yeah, like I have to get uh, like I can't. I want a Balenciaga belt, and I can't get it because I need to get a dishwasher. Adulthood. I know it sucks. <laughs> Even though I already have a Balenciaga fanny pack. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Are they gonna Are they gonna flag your card again? For uh, for buying a belt, if you buy a belt this time, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. I had to like call security at Six of Fifth Avenue so they wouldn't um, they would take my card off of like a banned card because I've never shopped there before. <laughs> uh, you've never shopped with us before, so so you're banning my card. Yes, yeah, exactly. And I was like, what? Come on. 
<laughs> it's the weirdest, most exclusionary capitalism ever. Yeah. Like, it's weird. Um, ah. <sighs> It's a platinum card too. <laughs> like I don't. I, I was just so confused. Brandon. And then the other thing is that I had to call multiple times because they wouldn't tell me why. And then eventually, one point person was like, "You called to get in." And then they, and then I eventually got it squared away. Oh my god, Brandon, this is such an unrelatable story. <laughs> I know. You're my you're my best friend and it's such an unrelatable story. But here's here's <laughs> the thing. The entire reason, the entire reason I got that fanny pack is because it's the it's the most ridiculous unrelatable thing. Oh no, no. Ever. It's it's Like I got it, it because is... of how ridiculous it is. Brandon, it is the most you thing to purchase ever. Yeah. Like I don't think that there's Unless it dispensed whiskey <laughs> and had woodworking tools in it. Yeah, exactly. It's like, just... <laughs> What's the most ridiculous thing that you could spend? Like, a designer fanny pack. People like that. Like, people can relate to, like, purses or, like, like shoes, I guess. Or, or, like, people buy no, fancy... shoes, definitely. People buy fancy she's... shoes. People buy fancy... Nobody has fancy fanny packs. Yeah, so I mean, honestly... Thing? A fanny pack. A, a fanny pack is basically the thing that you go to a basically for a fanny pack. If I'm using a fanny pack, I want something made out of the cheapest possible material ever. Yeah, because I'm only going to be using that fanny pack once. And 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 here's the problem, John, is that that actually backfired because you know what's big now. Fanny packs. Fanny packs, but but you wear them over your shoulder. Uh, why? That's a thing that's very popular. That's a thing like that's showing up in music videos and shit now. Like that's a very popular thing is the is the designer fanny pack. So the, I have the, the 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 it wasn't at the time when I got it, but now like now it's become uh, like in fashion. And I'm like, oh, well, come you're on. a tastemaker. I guess you're a tastemaker, Brandon. Got to monetize your Instagram. I mean, like, hopefully, so the next thing that becomes like high fashion is just wearing boxers out i'm hoping that the next thing that becomes high fashion is actually reading the article oh yeah true or doing research <laughs> That's, you know what i've noticed is that that my conversations have turned into um have you seen this show up in your news tile yet like when you swipe right on your phone and it opens up yeah. just news stories like, that's the thing is, like, did you see just this headline? Oh, no, I didn't see only that headline. That sounds interesting. I'll see if I can read just the headline of that. Like, it's, ugh. Ugh. Yeah. The the king declaring um after that <laughs> that he shall... I'm not good at segues. No, I, that's fair, too, because, yeah. like, did you see in the news tile that the king gave somebody 300 livres? Oh, yeah. That, oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> They thought they kept it away by staying in a group. Weird. Uh, actually, you wouldn't know that. Yeah, you didn't read the article. Uh, that's not in the new. That's not in the headline. Oh, uh, also that the, the king declared that he shall be educated at the state's expense, meaning that I think he's he's paying for his tuition now. That's pretty dope. Yeah, that is actually pretty cool. And, like and that, that France will, that... like that is dope. Like you got money, you didn't get eaten alive, and you're going and to now... free school. Yeah, so now you can now you can spend that money on a Nintendo Switch and not feel bad about it. Yeah, um, and then the, the the key thing here is that he declared that um, France will officially help hunt down the beast. So now the the king is behind hunting down the beast of Javidol. Uh He okay. then sent uh, first captain uh, Duhamel and his troops, um, and the local farmers refused. Uh, to help cooperate with Duhamel, and I assume that's because, like, you're from the king, and we don't like him. <laughs> I mean, you can never trust anybody who has a D and a U in the beginning of their last name. True. Um, even so, uh, he claimed to have almost shot, uh, almost shot the beast if it wasn't there for the incompetence of the guards. Gotcha. So mm. he 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 had zero success, and claimed it was the guards that the king sent with him that fucked him up. 
You you did this. Yeah. What? What? But you missed. This is you missed. You, you made me miss. You made me exactly. It's a you. All of these idiots made me miss. It's not my fault. I am. I am infallible, and nothing I ever have done is wrong. Yes. Um. This, by the way, that exact thing reminds me of a time when I was living at my parents' house, and we had a skunk mm-hmm. that my dad wanted to shoot. Um, but he could not because he claimed that there was a curve to the barrel of the gun. So then he also <laughs> got my my grandfather's gun and also missed. Um, <laughs> I blame user error. Maybe both the barrels had a curve. Uh, eventually, he just trapped it uh, under some blue uh, blue stone walkway tiles. I mean, technically, there is a curve to the barrel. It's but... perfectly natural. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's perfectly natural. Does but the, that curve, Brandon. Yeah. That curve, Brandon. Zero degrees. Oh. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> After some frustration, uh, Louis the Fourteenth. I think I was wrong. When I said fifteenth before. Sent some professional wolf hunters. No, that's that's fourteenth. That's XV. Yeah. Um, Jean Charles Marc Antoine. Valumis Dinzel, and that's a long name. His son, Jean Francois. I like his son's name better. Well, his his son's name is Jean Francois, and the dash is all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like it. <laughs> In France, dash means whatever I just said before. Um, uh-huh. And uh, Duhamel was forced to return to his headquarters in Clermont Ferrand, which is less than two miles away. He lived embarrassingly close. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it took me a second to realize what's going on. That's basically like the FBI showing up to investigation, uh, but worse. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, no, no, that's like the FBI showing up, doing an investigation, then the local cops come up to them and they're like, nah. Yeah. And then they, then they, you, the camera pans yeah. around and the FBI, like, you're in, like, Dulles or like, something like that. It's the SBI fails that investigation. The local cops come in and go, no, you guys suck. We're on this now. And then they have to go back with their heads in shame to headquarters, which is a block over. Like, Yes. That's that's like, exactly what it is. They didn't drive to the scene. They walked. No, no, no. The, the camera literally... This the pan. camera literally turns around and it points at the, at the FBI building. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, supposedly the father and son dis- team disagreed so much with the captain's stra- strategy that they deemed it was, uh, uh, like, he's just like, it's impossible to work with him. Like, it's like, it's never going to work. Um, the captain organized hunting parties while the father and son team believed that the beast could only be shot using stealth techniques. <laughs> I mean, and all- that actually, that actually, uh, if it is a wolf. That stands to reason. Yeah, and and I'll explain later on why hunting parties didn't work. Um, yeah. The father and son team showed up in February 17th, 1765, and brought with them eight bloodhounds that were trained in wolf hunting. Uh, for four months, the pair hunted wolves continuously, believing that the beast was actually one or more animals. Again, I agree with this thinking, specifically the Eurasian wolf. Uh, Aw, poor wolves. The attacks continued as a result. Uh, the attacks c- continued, and as a result, the father and son team were replaced because they weren't effective. Uh, with Francois Antoine in June twenty second, seventeen sixty five. Francois was the king's um, arquebus bearer, um, uh, and the lieutenant of the hunt. Uh, and that's just a fancy word for a guy who shoots his gun using a stand. Yep, it's it's derived from the German word. I'm not gonna pronounce that. Uh, hook for hook gun. Yeah, like I, like I looked Our up, and it's really just like this. it's a a gun. You put a pole in the ground and rest your gun on it. I mean, you know how like when when yeah, you yeah. picture people like laying down and there's a stand on the gun. It's like mm-hmm. the stand up version of that kind of. No, like, I mean that was that was fairly common in the 1700s. Yeah. Uh, now a li- a little bit more information um about Javudon and and some of these hunting techniques. Um Javudon is not a nice French flat forest like I pictured in my head for most of the time when I was reading this. 
It's a really rugged, rocky area. It's extremely rough terrain, and the snow stayed on the ground until May or June. Jesus. So, like... What? So, the reason why wolf attacks were so ridiculous is because they were the only animals that could even navigate this terrain. Yeah, like... Oh, man, I'm looking at the I'm looking at the map right now on yeah. Google Maps. It is hilly. Yeah, it's wicked. Not even hilly. It's like there's a lot of glacial uh, valleys here. Yeah. In addition to this, <laughs> the professional wolf hunters uh, that were sent in, other than the guy that lives two miles away and still sucked, um, mm-hmm. were not from the area. They were Persian hunters and Norman aristocrats and were used to hunting in flat, wooded areas. These wolf hunts involved the villagers um, uh, uh, also... Uh, uh, they they weren't what you'd think the wolf hunts would look like. Villagers were not allowed to own guns, so the hunt looked a lot like the villagers with literal pitchforks and shovels being sent into the woods to scare animals, while these aristocrats not from the area sat on horseback outside of the woods and just shot at what ran out of it. Oh my god. How many... Okay, okay. I have a new theory. Yeah. How many... Of the deaths caused by the beasts of Javadan. Oh, we're aristocrats shooting at villagers coming out of the yes. woods. Yes. How many do you uh, think? Yeah, I don't know. And also, by the way, the, what I believe the captain who who was unsuccessful, um, when it said the, the farmers refused to cooperate with him, I believe they refused to go into the woods and chase shit out. So it was just the guards. And that's why he blamed the guards. Like, they didn't flush it out. So he sent the guards into the woods because the farmers wouldn't do it. So he was trying to use the same hunting techniques. Rich, uh, people in power are always the laziest. Yeah. Like, that's so fucking lazy. (laughs) It is. Um... Adding to the magical superstition of the creature, so also its super speed was because of the terrain, its ability to kill in one village to that, even though it was close to another one, the terrain, it, 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 it's based on the terrain. That's why they thought it was so fast. I mean, quadrupeds are better at navigating hilly areas. Yeah. Um, a- adding just... to the magical superstition uh, to the creature outside of what locals were saying, which was that its fur could re- repel bullets, so it, it was mm-hmm. normal stuff. Is that the... Yeah, no, no. That's that's why everyone wears fur. That's why military groups wear fur coats all yeah. the time. Of course. Yeah. Um, it, it's that the Bishop of Mun uh, published a letter in December 31st, 1764, claiming that the beast was drawn from the arsenal of God's anger to execute death sentences uh, that his justice has pronounced. That the what? beast itself was the scourge of God and was operating with special divine powers given to it by god including invisibility to hunt down sinners so i'm assuming uh that the bishop of bishop amand is uh in favor of the beast of Jivanon. yeah well well he he was he he was catholic and there were um there were competing mm. christian elements yeah so it's basically like to these other not Catholic, but still Christian groups saying, listen, the beast is going to get you if you don't get full Catholic, bro. That's that's religion in a nutshell. Yep. It's like, wait, there's an event I can latch on to and tell people that they're, be, they're going to hell for? Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Um, but that also, like, really added to people being like, oh, shit, like, the church is down with the beast. Like, it's an actual, like, supernatural being in the woods killing people um it, things were everything sp- is made better by their their interaction oh yeah things were spiraling out of control there were over a hundred deaths many uh, of which decapitations the beast was eluding uh everything that king could do and his retepul- reputation was already in bad shape this is why the king got behind it he mm-hmm. he uh lost the seven year war raised tax in taxes and was a known womanizer um, and he even uh, uh contracted uh the renowned Daniel DeVito. Oh, I, I added that. Never mind. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, but the, like, the, I, he, I do, Louis, I do appreciate like, uh, me just adding Daniel DeVito dressed up. 
Yeah, I do appreciate that. Like, He's dressed up as a, a leopard with yeah, rum ham. Yeah, he paid him with large amounts of rum ham. But yeah, so the king, like, he was not in favor, so he had to do something. I, I, I feel like, isn't Louis the Fifteenth uh, the one who gets beheaded? Um, I don't know. That didn't happen uh... during this time. <laughs> One sec. I o- I only know a little bit about France for only this short a period of time because there was a nasty wolf boy. Uh no, no, it's Louis the Sixteenth. Ah, uh, gotcha. I think. Um. Yeah, yeah, he dies pretty early. Uh, dying childless. Uh, monarchy was abolished on the twenty first of September, seventeen ninety two, and he. Uh, coincidentally died the 21st of September, 1792. I wonder what happened. Oh. <laughs> Weird oh, wait, coincidence. Wait, what's this? What's this? Um, oh, the, the, the French Revolution was happening that year. Huh. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, he died. He died a year later. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, yeah. uh, with all that being said, it is no wonder why when Antoine killed a large gray wolf measuring 80 centimeters, which is 31 inches high, and 1.7 meters are five foot, seven inches long. So like a six foot long wolf that was about um, almost three feet uh, tall um, and weighed about 130 pounds. Uh, that's not that's not a abnormal. Like to me, that's not an abnormally sized. It's just big. Wolf. It was just a big old wolf. It's a big boy. Yeah. Um, or girl. He, he killed. Actually, the... it's more likely to be a girl if it's that big. He, he... She wolves are huge. Yeah. He killed uh, the wolf, which was named uh, Le Lou de uh, Chases, which is after a nearby by uh, things. I, it's French. It's named after a French thing that's all French words, and I can't say them. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, that Antoine officially stated, we declare by the present report signed for, uh, from our hand that we never saw a big wolf that could be compared to this one. Hence... Uh, is why we believe this could be the fearsome beast that caused so much damage. So th- it's officially declared that the beast is, is dead. Um, the animal was further identified as the culprit by tag survivors who recognized the scars uh, on its body inflicted by v- victims uh, um, like defending themselves. Yeah, so I just looked this up. Um, the The length of a wolf is between... A uh, gray wolf is between uh, three point three feet and 6.6 feet okay so it's on the higher end but not it, crazy. it's on the higher end but it's it's not like ridiculous impossible because yeah. it's five seven so yeah. that's actually that's actually kind of like a little above average yeah so um the wolf was stuffed and sent to versailles where antoine's son antoine of uh i'm gonna say butyrny uh was hailed a hero butane Butane, yes. Uh, An- Antoine de, B- de Butane. He he then uh, he then hunted down the beast's mate and pup, uh, which he claimed uh, had already outgrown the mother. He also, uh, knowing that hyenas were po- uh, a popular animal at the time, uh, promoted descriptions matching that of a hyena, contributing to wood carvings and other artwork uh- that showed the animal looking more hyena-like after that event. Um, than even the the thylacine. <laughs> Bless so, you. So, so he's like, he's like, uh, thank you. Uh, hey, you know what's a super popular thing? Hyenas. Oh yeah, hyenas are super popular. You know what? I want some pictures of hyenas. Let me tell these people that it's a hyena. Like, also the balls on this guy. Like he sent it to. So it's in an actual museum, and he's describing it different than how it will look if someone goes to this museum to actually see it. Well, you don't know that because I've seen some taxidermy events. Uh, taxidermy that is not accurate to what the thing <laughs> looks like. True, I didn't consider that. <laughs> um, the, the lion is still my all-time favorite. Yeah. It is said that he still had his doubts. However, uh, by this time, the beast was already reported dead several times and having survived many shootings and stabbings. Uh, whatever his doubts, he still returned to Paris to receive a large chunk of change, titles, and other rewards. It sounds an awful lot like this. This is the John Wick of the Wolf World. Yeah, if, if these stories are to be heard, to be true, like thought to be true, it's the Baba Yaga. Oh yeah, the Baba Yaga, 
the shit this wolf does with a pencil, John. Holy I know. fuck. <laughs> Pencils weren't even around yet. It invented a pencil just, just to, to kill do people. it with a pencil. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, also, fun fact, Bill and Ted come out next weekend. Uh, I am... VOD. I'm so excited. I'm buying it. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure I am, too. <laughs> I, 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 It looks hilarious. It looks great. It's Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted, even when it's not... Bogus Journey is still a phenomenal oh, movie. Yeah. I hope... Even though it's not as good as Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I hope they put George Carlin in this somehow. Using like movie magic, uh, I I want I don't want them to to resurrect him like they did Carrie Fisher. I want them to like make note of Rufus. I don't want it to be I, done in a sentimental way. I want it to be done in a way where like that's George Carlin, not like yeah. I not, want I want them to make a joke. Yeah, exactly. It, yes. it has to be. It has to be going. It would have to be like lampooning George Carlin because that that's the only way. That would be the only way to pay him respect. Yes, agreed. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah, we'll 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 see. I'm definitely gonna get that though. Uh, oh, I'm definitely gonna watch it. There's no doubt. Yeah, it, it we're definitely gonna be talking about that on the next episode of Cryptopedia. Don't worry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so if you intend to listen to that episode, be sure to watch the movie because there's gonna be spoilers. Oh yes. Uh, it would appear that he was wrong because uh, in early December, over a dozen more attacks resulting in her horrific mutilation of uh, women and children would occur. The attacks nice. stopped after Marie uh, Jeanne Vallet, later to be known as the Maid of Javoudon, killed the beast on the slopes of Mont, um, Mochette, now called um, La C French Stuff, um, during a hunt organized by a local nobleman by the name of uh, uh, the Marquis. <sighs> These French people, man. Uh, yeah, d uh, p uh, p uh, d there's a D and a, then an apostrophe and then so it's d like three th three consonants. I don't know. France, get it together. On June nineteenth, seventeen sixty seven, a statue now sits. Um, the, 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 it's actually made a statue. It's a pretty cool looking statue. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's like it her on a spear and the wolf is jumping. Yeah, at Jean looks looks pretty badass. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. Like. If I ever got a statue made of me, I would hope it looks half as cool as that. Yeah. It's, it's a not. dope it ass never, statue. It would never look that cool. Uh, alternatively, but, some farmer also claims that he killed the beast in the same year, and uh, he's got a plaque. Uh, supposedly, he used silver. We'll get back to that uh, later in the story. Um, I, I like how he got a plaque, but she got, like, a really nice statue. Yeah. Oh, oh, so, so to full disclosure... The plaque and the statue didn't happen until, like, the 1990s. Oh, that's that doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Like, like, like this isn't like she did that's, it and then the town's people made a statue. This is, like, way, way later on. That's some tourism statuing. Yeah. I mean, Brandon, look at the hodag. Yeah, true. Look at look at Mothman. Yeah. Look at every, every, like, almost every crypto we've talked about on this. If it's a town that has nothing else going for it, John, they usually make a statue. I hope that we get very popular, and then somewhere where near where 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 we live, there's a statue built that's just like a big bronze statue of us on a couch with Bigfoot. Brandon, why? <laughs> I want a statue, man. I I want if if we got a statue made of us, I want I would want it to be something funnier and vaguely humiliating. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Right? Like, like I feel like I, I feel like if I got a statue made of me, I want to be embarrassed of it. All right. We each get our own statue. Uh -huh. Um two two separate statues in different parks. Um mm -hmm. and it's us using from extreme restraints the, the uh, humbler. The humbler deluxe. <laughs> But they're, like, lined up in a way that the two statues appear to be interacting in some manner. Oh, yeah. But, like, like but like they're, like, hundreds of miles apart. Th like, something has to happen. In the same direction. Like, it has, something has to happen. It has to be involved with the, the, the body position and the orientation. Where, like, at only one time a year on, like, a solstice, something happens. 
<laughs> it, it reveals it reveals the location of the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, also Walter hunted to extinction in France. Um, reintroduction efforts began in 1992. That's... Man. That goes back to, like, cats being hunted to extinction in Scotland because of the, there's yeah. that one spooky cat that we did the thing on. And now they're hunted yeah. to extinction in France because of uh, 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 the Lugaru. I, I, well, I think wolves are hunted to extinction because just the fact that Wolf they're hunts. wolves. Yeah. Um, because, you know, they do have an impact on human farming and husbandry. But humans in all of our infinite wisdom, when, when we remove the apex predator of a ecosystem, we have a tendency of ruining that ecosystem. Yeah, you know, weird things start happening. Yeah, weird stuff starts happening. Like, there's way too many deer or, you know. Yeah. Weird. We killed all the wolves, and, and then now, uh, all all my the deer eat all my apples. Yeah, yeah. So then we killed all the deer, and now all the now, everything. Now all the, the apples deer are, are out of control. We killed yeah, the all apples the deer. Have, <laughs> the apples are fucking the apples everyone have up. Gained sentience. Yes. Um. So the most common and reasonable theory that I could find uh, is that it was just a bunch of wolves. Yeah. That's it. Um, attacks on villagers, such as those described with the ripping of the throat and the de de decapitation and the chest cavity stuff and the not playing with the genitals, um, mm -hmm. uh, were actually rather normal at the time. That's just what wolves do. Yeah. Like, I was, I was going to say, when you mentioned they went for the neck and the head, I'm like, so a wolf attack. Because, yeah. like, that's what dogs do. That there was nothing unique about that uh, about any of the attacks. No, and like they're not going to be going for the like below the waist because all the good bits are above the waist. Yeah, it was just the natural predation of wolves in rural France that it was harder to to take care of them because of the terrain. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, the terrain stops them from being hunted as easily as they would have been. Elevating hysteria was the supernatural stuff being pushed by the church. Um, mm -hmm. and, and even adding on top of that is that professional wolf hunters being sent in and failing just because they're, that's not how they usually hunt. They're used to hunting in yeah. different areas. Like, uh, it, it's just a lot of stuff really like made it a perfect thing for this to happen the way exactly how it happens. I feel like, I feel like, um, the, the Catholic church in this story though is like, uh, uh, what's that, uh. The, that one Mickey Mouse show where it's like, and this one will be a, su a special surprise for later on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're basically this special surprise from that uh, the House of Mouse or whatever the heck yeah. it's called. Um, <laughs> where they're just like, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> let's just make things interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and then back to farm boy Jean, uh, uh, Jean Chastel. Um but I can find a picture, like, I can definitely picture some guy taking a credit for doing that. Um, and mm -hmm. it's it's very possible that, yeah, he is the one that actually killed the beast. Maybe they both attacked it, uh, like, Mary attacked it. He attacked, who knows? Uh, they both seem plausible. Um, but I uh, cannot, for the life of me, imagine a poor French farmer in the middle of winter deciding to shoot precious metals at an animal. Yeah, that's that's the least believable part cuz like at this the, the whole French Revolution thing happened because uh the peasant class is basically peasants in France yeah. at this time. Um yeah, and also like <laughs> I don't know what the rules were, but like I know normal people couldn't have guns, maybe if you were a farmer, you could I don't know what the rules were, but like it's it's not a thing like it wouldn't be common for someone to have a gun, and it wouldn't be normal for someone to shoot, pre like, things that are of value. Just... Yeah. Just... There's also, <laughs> also nowhere else in the story are they like, oh, it's a werewolf or something that's going to be killed by supernatural... Well, there, there were definitely... Silver. Um, it was mostly newspapers, so the official yeah. records and stuff... Um, didn't really have that, but newspapers definitely mentioned like the like Lugaru and, and supernatural stuff to like they okay. they got to sell copies. 
Yeah, but I mean, like, still, like, what, what's the origin exploded. point of silver as a... I, I'm curious as to what the origin point is silver as a weapon for killing the paranormal happened. That's weird. It's almost as if you can see the next paragraph down. <laughs> uh, the this, the beast was, was a, a direct inspiration for the 1941 movie, The Wolfman. Now, interestingly enough, no mention in media, printed or otherwise, ever mentions silver bullets and werewolves. Um, or even, like, hunting uh, prior to the 20th century, um, and famously Kurt uh, Sjaldmak, who wrote the Wolfman in movie in 1941, uh, like he basically invented the silver bullet thing, and then um, according to uh, to the author of Monsters of the Javodon, the making of a beast, J. M. Smith, silver was like never even discussed as a hunting method for the beast or in general ever. Yeah. That- that that's like like because peasants aren't going to be like hey, what's a thing that we have a ton of? Yeah, silver. Let's use some silver. Yeah, it, it's commonly agreed that the idea is a twentieth century invention uh, that was in a semi semi fictionalized publication uh, where Jean shot the beast of the Gévaudan with silver jewelry worn by the Virgin Mary that he melted into bullets. So that makes it even more insane. Yeah. Because, because, so, that means, okay, first of all, Virgin Mary, literally 0% chance that that woman had silver. Well, then after, when she had the baby, they gave her the stuff. Yeah, but it's gold, frankincense, and myrrh, not silver. Oh, yeah, not silver. True. So... Uh, so there's, and, and I'm going to tell you right now, somebody who has a stone cutter for a husband is not going to buy silver. Yeah. Um, but regardless, that's talking about his, whatever. That whole worn by the Virgin Mary thing then implies that silver is not an inherently magical property. No, it's more like, that when it comes to dealing it's things. got some divine thing related to it. And then the th- the other part of why that doesn't necessarily make sense, sorry to shit on your story, weird guy from the 1900s that wrote a semi-fictionalized version of this. If the beast was given its powers, like if they're divine powers from God, why would shooting it with a thing that's divine from God then hurt it like wouldn't they both be things that are good and would that wouldn't really be a thing i want to say something but i don't want to upset people who like the bible (laughs) (laughs) okay (laughs) we can leave it there (laughs) yeah that's that's where i'm Um, leaving it i mean so so, uh, a silver i i i fundamentally disagree with your point that divine things uh uh, can't supposedly divine things can't disprove or or her other harm divine things other divine things divine things okay I mean there's something I'm not remembering that uh, tell me later um I'll tell you later. I'm sure there's a specific thing that you're thinking of and I can't I know I I know what it is but it, it, I can't think right now um silver bullets were also famously used by the Lone Ranger radio shows in 1933 as a symbol of justice, whose horse was also named Silver. So at some point in the 1900s, the idea of Silver being used for justice came into a thing. I don't know the original origin of, like, of when Silver yeah. had that bestowed upon it, but um, yeah. At some, at some point entered the, 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 the public unconsciousness of this is a shorthand for something just. Yeah. That's... Um, that's but yeah, that's how things like that go. There's the origin of silver bullets and werewolves. It was uh, some guy was inspired by the Beast of Javondol, read a semi semi fictionalized book, incorporated that into his movie about werewolves. Bada bing, bada boom, we got ourselves a silver bullet killing a werewolf. So then, when is like the first werewolf story? Because like I always thought that it was Loop. Gar- I thought it was always Beast of Javondol. But are there like, like I mean, I-, I assume that there's werewolf stories involving like. The people who have like that that disease that causes them to grow fur, basically. Yeah. Um. um I I don't know. The, the the thing is that like big angry wolf animal stories are like every culture. Yeah, I mean, because wolves are kind of 
Like the Lugaru is just a one of the most famous ones. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, uh, but they're all around. Like even when what the. The Beast of Jamado was a specific creature that was also mentioned to have been a werewolf. So there's older werewolf stories. and yeah. Okay. I don't know if there's ever going to be an original. It's just, so, as long honest... as there are people and wolves. The... Answer me honestly now. Yes. If you could become a werewolf, would you? Uh, Is that my only... Like, is it... I could become a werewolf or another monster? Or is it just straight up werewolf? A werewolf. Like, like... If 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 you were capable of becoming a werewolf, would you? And I'm not gonna. There's so I'm not gonna specify. So I'm not gonna specify what type of werewolf you become. Yeah. Because you don't know. You don't know if you're gonna become the kind who can't really fully control it, or if you're the kind uh, who's like a super shape. This character. is interesting now. So so I like I, I I like this pitch because it's not if you could become a monster, would you? Yes, no. It's you if you could become a monster. But your monster is a version of these 13 different options of, like, are you, yes. like, American Werewolf and London Werewolf? Are you Elder Scrolls Werewolf? Are you Wolfman mm-hmm. Werewolf? Are you... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yes. Like, what would... You you would take it? Yeah. I don't care what it is. I'd, I'd just like to be a wolf. All right. I mean, I think I'd probably take it, too. Yeah. Like... Like, that'd be fun. Uh, yeah, I think it'd be fun. Although, you might murder a few people. Um, but that also might be fun. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, a- as a wolf, as a wolf man, as a wolf man, a I really... don't know what my my interests are gonna be. No, you don't, because like you're not a wolf man. No, now I like cats and dishwashers that work. When I'm a wolf, who knows? Maybe you hate both of those things. Oh, maybe I just I'm a werewolf by just breaking into houses and fuck up a dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> So I have the strength of a man and a wolf combined. What do you do with it? Fucking dishwashers. Yeah. <laughs> like, like it's uncontrollable. There's a full moon. And you just start growing hair. You go, and then sniff the air. They have a KitchenAid. And then just like... <laughs> do I smell... Some form of pledge? <laughs> like, I can... Like, if... If... if, if, if Tide Pods burn my skin. <laughs> yeah. No, Tide Pods are your weakness. Yeah. <laughs> it's not silver. It's Tide Pods. Yeah. It burns your insides and outsides. Oh. Yes. I like it. I buy my Tide Pods from Extreme Restraints. And then consume them. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the, the, you actually can't transform into a werewolf because of the full moon. It's only if it's reflected off of a stainless steel dishwasher. Oh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Ship it. Screenplay sold. Where's the pilot? Uh, it's, it's right there next to the time traveling Mormon. Oh, yes. Yeah. I can't believe we talked for like literally we talked for like 15 minutes about time traveling mormons last time yeah imagine a time traveling mormon going back to to the javadon in 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 this time period like well he'd be in a lot of trouble oh yeah with the catholic church mainly oh i thought you meant because the beast only like if you weren't catholic the beast got you well, I mean that's that's going by the Catholic Church's rules. Yeah. Oh, you, so the time traveling Mormon goes mm-hmm. back to the Javondon, and he's the one that actually kills the beast because, like, he has the strongest of uh, of the smells uh, because mm-hmm. he's he, his 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 nose smells religion. He's the only Mormon in the world then, so that means that he would have the strongest religion <laughs> smell to the beast, and then they wait, have wait. this battle. Religion smell? Yeah, that's how the beast hunts. Like he smells what religion you are. This is this is like this is like in the story Silver Bullet showing up. Like in terms of coherency with the narrative. Yeah. Like that's why he's like the 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 the, the scourge sent from God to for anyone that's not Catholic. His nose smells your religion, and then this guy shows up. Boom! Only religion, only human 
of that religion on Earth. So the beast just like his oh. his ears perk up right away when it when phew, the 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 okay. time travel machine like just shows up and the beast is like, huh? Okay, okay. What what if what if what if the beast of Jafadan was created by God to put an end to the time traveling Mormon? Oh, it was a trap. It was a trap the whole time. It was a trap the whole time. This is like Doctor Who goes back to say, uh, but then it was a trap in time. And oh, I like this. We're we're getting deep. We're getting layers. There's layers here because nothing bad ever happens when you include time travel in a story. No, ever. It is always made better by adding time travel. Oh, Every yeah. story ever is yes. made better by adding time travel. How far did travel. you get into um? Um. Uh. Oh God. Oh. Uh. There's. There's the 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 spooky uh, ghost uh, guy, and it says like "hello" and "goodbye" on the palms of his hands, and like "big." I'm a big. Strong... Oh, I finished it. Oh, you finished I it. Finished right. it. Yeah, Umbrella Academy yes, for anyone that, who's asking. Umbrella Academy. Yes. A- anyone who's wondering what he just said, Umbrella Academy. Yeah, I was asking for you got it. I just couldn't think of the words Umbrella and Academy together. I finished it, and it was phenomenal. Nice. I think I, I finished legitimately... it. Is there one more episode left? Me, I don't know. Uh. What was I saw the spoiler dad, alert I saw for... the dad do the thing with the whoosh. Okay. So, is there one Have more you after seen that? Him, did you see him after that at all? Like cuz you see before the when the episode the series I don't is believe the season's so. over, you see him one more time for sure. Okay, so I think I've got one episode left and I just haven't been watching Oh, it. and you haven't then that means you haven't seen the best episode yet. Oh, then I know means. what I'm doing after this. Yeah, cuz that episode's phenomenal. Okay. It's really good. There's some really cool stuff that happens in it. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Oh, All right. I know what that means. Yeah, it means we're close to the end because I'm yawning. Uh, so, as always, if you enjoyed the podcast, be sure to follow us on CryptopediaCast.com or our Instagram at CryptopediaCast or Twitter at CryptopediaCast. A lot of at CryptopediaCast. Yeah. Um, if you want to email us, cryptopediacast at gmail.com or us at cryptopediacast.com. You can also send us DMs or whatever, just whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, we do have transcriptions. I haven't done them in a while because a lot of stuff happened in my life around the time I started doing the transcriptions. You've got a dog. <laughs> I got a dog and, uh, I decided to get, go back to school. So a lot of stuff happened in my life. Mostly the dog um, thing. Yeah, the dog thing is the thing that takes up uh, most of my time these days. Not not reading tons of re- – like reading five research papers a day. That doesn't take up any of my There's, time whatsoever. You know what they say about PhDs? They're so easy. Yeah. They take almost no time. I mean, no actually – See, the problem is you're, you, I, th- I feel like you're having fun. Yes. Now, here's the thing. It's a three-year program. Yes. So this is the fun, and then there's at some point in everyone's life, there's a I'm over it. But Brandon, I'm not everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I'm kind of a weirdo. That's true. You know, you know, you know my um. You know what I just realized? I said there's a point when people do something, and then there there's every there's a point when you're over it. I just I just looked at your background for a second, and I was like, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's just yeah. a wall of toys. <laughs> What's that at now? Uh, it's been about 13 years since I got back. I got into collecting hard, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, I recently just bought three more Transformers <laughs> yesterday. Yeah. And not only that, but they're all the same mold, just painted slightly differently. And I have all three of those characters in my collection already. <laughs> yeah. So deal with that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we have a Patreon that supports the podcast. It pays the bills. It keeps the lights on for the podcast. It honestly, it just pays for all the little bits and incidental stuff. Like literally hosting uh, every site. <laughs> yeah. Like that's literally, it, it does all that. And I can't thank our Jackalope sponsors enough. And that would be Clay Sinclair. Yes. Marty Von Party, uh-huh. uh, who requested a specific type of episode uh, about the one six inch scale, the one six scale uh, Jim Carrey. Have you seen the one six scale Jim Carrey, Brandon? The one six is that something I should Google? I don't even know what you're talking it's in, about. It's in our it's in our Discord. I posted it under cursed images. Oh, 
Oh, let me go here. Open Discord. I it, it's. I don't. I think. I don't think I get all the notifications because I don't get all the notifications okay. either. It's kind of. It's a little weird. Oh, I see curse damage. Oh, oh, I see. There's several things that have new items. I mean, uh, oh, I posted a lot of things to curse images. Oh wow, John. I see the chicken nuggets. I see the. What's it say on that? What? What? Oh, that. That's Lisa. You have, Brandon. You're so far behind. If the chicken nuggets are the thing you see. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wait. I, I, I put a lot. Of, is, you join the so join the Jill. Discord because there's a lot oh. of really. I don't phenomenal like that stuff in too there. Too realistic, cat girl. There's. Let's it's see. really good. It's oh god, one six scale Jim Carrey hurt me. Can't hurt oh, me. oh, you know it's scary. So what's yeah. that TV show? Uh, Small soldiers. Small soldiers, both one six scale Jim Carrey. Awful. Awful. Oh wow. Awful. Uh we also have Bird Schneider. Uh oh! Um, I like I went into blurst images now, and I see a kitty cat. <laughs> oh, those blessed Speaking images! Of... Now I'm in blurst images. Yeah, blurst images has is is things. <laughs> That's funny. That body pillow. That's funny. I used to watch that show while I ironed, but now because of Honest... COVID, I haven't ironed in months. <laughs> uh, so for people who are wondering, it's from Monster Musume. It's a uh, Mia. The fact that I remembered that without even like anything, I hate myself yeah. right now. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to thanking our our Patreon supporters. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I I said Bird Schneider, but I think I got cut off. Uh, Jonathan Shepard, and that's all of our the newest recruit right now. What the newest recruit? The newest recruit. Yeah. Um, we have a Facebook group, which I was not advertising for a while, but somebody joined. And he's been posting cool stories like once a week. Yeah. Uh, I I lowlands or something along those lines. I want to say. One sec. It's... I'm looking. Oh, I don't. My Facebook is not logged in on this computer. So. Oh, weird. Um. Um. Let's do. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, 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 uh. This is the music. Linwood Sharp. Uh, Lumberwoods. Lumberwoods. Yeah. He's been doing yeah. uh cool like mountaineer stuff. Yeah. And that really like cool. that devil's bones. Yeah, um, he's been posting a lot of uh, uh, what you call it, fearsome critters or whatever. The, the, yeah, yeah, the, like, like cool little like, style like stuff. articles. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, uh, pretty cool. If you're interested in that, check it out. He's he added infinitely more value to that that Facebook group. Oh yeah. Other than me <laughs> just posting. showing like pictures of beer that we mentioned in the episodes. Like, yep. It's, uh, the only he made, reason he made. Like, he stays in genre. The only reason anything I ever posted had anything to do with Cryptopedia is because I'm on the picture. Pretty much. <laughs> like, I posted uh, a song that was just my cats meowing. You did. I think you also post Psychish yeah. at one point. Uh, you also post See, I have ideas uh, for things, but I just don't have time to do them. Well, there's yeah, I... videos of us playing Magic the Gathering on there. I'm just scrolling through it now. Oh man, there's there's some there's some I I still want to do the video where we actually go to a place in person and like look around it. Yeah. But like that that requires work and the apocalypse is happening right now and I just I just can't I don't have the energy. They just I just got an email there and did a no more work from home for for the old Brandinsky. No more work for home. For all, everyone, uh, full full staffing on site required now. Weird. Sad. I'm sad now. I like well, working from I, home. I, I'm gonna and say it's on weird site with half people. Like it was cool with the fifty percent reduction. Like, like, like I was fine with that because uh, nobody goes around me, and if they, you know, put your mask on, you know. It, so, I wanna I wanna point out. It's technically worse right now than when all of it started. Yeah. When, like, work from home started. It is, like, uh, mathematically a worse situation it's, it's, right now. It's way worse, but I think it's because uh, uh, the area we are, it's a low. Yes. Per- but, like, like percent-wise, it's low. But we've also had, like, employees get it. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Um, oh, and they don't, they don't do the, the temperature shit anymore. Like, because they used to leave a boop boop at the security gate. But now it's uh, that you go inside the building, and then inside the building, there's a, a, a machine 
that shows a color and if it's green you're good and then if it's not green then you have to go outside and call hr but the thing is like at that point in time you're already inside the building like do it like it literally it's literally but here's the thing you take the machine apart it's literally just a green light no you know why because um uh as a joke people like like have left a coffee cup in the background and it'll see the coffee and then show red uh, for, for, what, okay. for when it screens you and then people will be like i feel fine why is it red and they're like haha there's coffee in the background uh okay um we mentioned it before we have a discord as well if you enjoy the podcast be sure to rate review subscribe if any monster requests or stories be sure to send them in we have a great track record with that <laughs> just like that little pregnant pause also oh yeah it's my turn isn't it um mm -hmm. If you'd like, you could find me on Instagram at donkey underscore hands. Uh, it's mostly I share stories of food I made. Yeah, it's it's become a lot of food. It's become a lot of food. I, I'm not saying that there's anything that wrong with that. I, it's it's just a fact. It's literally just a lot of food. Yeah. In the same way that mine is literally almost exclusively pictures of my animals and my transformers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also cats. I do cats sometimes, too. Mm, yes, that's true. That's true. Uh, my website is boyerb.com. My email is brandon at cryptopediacast.com. And my Twitter is at cryptobrandon. My Instagram is at mu2057. My Twitter is at jfdunham. My website is johndunhamgames.com. And my email is john at cryptopediacast.com. Our art was done by Tom Hill. You could find him on Instagram at Thomas Michael Hill. Also, he does like just fun art. Some like he does, He's got some cool posts. So even just no, he's got some really. Anyway. He, I mean. The reason we selected him, other than the fact that we know him, is because he does good art. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Exactly. So, like, yeah, just yeah, give, give him a follow. If you already follow us, just uh, scroll through who we follow, follow or whatever, him. and then you'll yeah, just find him. him that way if you don't have to spell it. Um, his website is greatergloryco.com, and his email is tommikehill at gmail.com. As always, I'm John. I'm Brandon. And things are going to get weird. <laughs> <laughs>